Hello, Internet. Welcome to Ancient Ruins. I am Color Party, and this is The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons Cursed. In the last episode, we made it to the sixth dungeon. In this episode, I enormously doubt we'll beat this dungeon in a single sitting, because it is, I think, at the absolute bare minimum, four floors. It might be five or six. It's a huge dungeon. And even if you know what to do, it's still going to take a while, so... We might make it to the mini-boss, but the mini-boss is fairly far into the dungeon. So this dungeon is filled with enemies. Some of them are easy, like uh, ropes here, but there's also tons of Gibdos. And also, this is an infamous door. This uh, door, actually, you can skip, believe it or not, because basically that door, the, you use a key to open that door and you get another key inside of that room. So it is entirely possible to go for this whole dungeon without ever using a key to get for that door. And also, that room's just evil. You have literally just enough time to hit those crystals with your sword before you die. So, Gibdos are back, but fortunately, the Noble Sword makes them a good deal easier. Oh man, Sword Beams are not as good as I remember. Sword Beams are not as powerful as the Noble Sword normally is, but I feel like they are just as powerful on a Cursed playthrough. Ah! Yeah, this dungeon, like, is filled of very precise tricks you need to do. Ow! It's also full of chests with, like, a really small amount of rupees. Also, I mentioned in Snake's Remains, this dungeon also has a hidden rupee room. right here. Good luck finding that without a map. And uh, by map I mean like an online map, not the in-game map, since the in-game map really isn't all that helpful when it comes to finding rooms like that. More Gibdos. Ooh, the nice thing about this dungeon uh, is the dungeon item is very, very useful in a cursed playthrough. Whoa! Ouch! I hate it when there are statues that shoot fireballs at you. Oh, what? Nothing even appeared for me? This dungeon's stingy. Alright. Well, since we turned that turntable, we can turn it the opposite way now. Man, this dungeon. I forgot just how many Gibdos were in it. I don't know why that guy resisted dying for so long. Oh no, I see what you're at. The boomerang is your best friend in this dungeon. Even in a casual playthrough. Since Gibdos do not flinch from your sword, and even if you have twice the power in a regular playthrough, you still want to uh, avoid contact with Gibdos. Window <laughs> Alright, so here we get the dungeon map. So, that's just the first floor. Granted, each fo uh, ascending floor does get smaller, which is nice, but it's still the biggest dungeon in the entire game. Okay. Oh man, you can't do anything in this room yet. I thought it led to a different room. My bad. Also, this is the dungeon that you will find if you uh, go far enough away from a room, the enemies will respawn in your uh, far away rooms. Uh oh. Out of the way, anti fairy. So the magnetic gloves are getting put back to use. Unfortunately, the magnet gloves are one of those dungeon items that you will use quite a bit in the game, even long after the dungeon you get them in is over. That works. Ah, 
somehow. All right, you know what? Just for that. Give me a fairy. Okay. Oh yeah, and even weirder, I'm gonna show the whole dungeon. You have to save and quit in order to like really reach that room that uh, you can skip the key. Doo -doo -doo. Because normally you're supposed to go through here and open that key block, which basically lets you turn the turntable to the back of the room. But if you do that, you're never going to open that door, and I like showing off the entire dungeon. Those snakes just look so happy. They're kind of cute. Oh, wait, what? Wait a minute. I feel like you have to go through this room. Did I just mess up my facts? Oh yeah, and Beemos. I hate Beemos. That's gonna be like my catchphrase for this Let's Play. I hate Beemos. Okay, that's weird. I could have sworn this room just had like a key inside of it. Oh yeah, hey, hey, we can shatter pots now. No, did I say shield? No, I said boomerang. Ow! What the farm and Adele just happened there? I threw my boomerang at the Gibdo! I don't know why it just died there. My boomerang should have stunned to the second Gibdo. Why didn't it do that? Well, that's why you want to avoid contact damage with Gibdos at all costs. Because they hurt. A lot. And now we have to go back for Keys Cavern. Not to be confused with the Key Cavern from, uh, Link's Awakening. Oh, just push the button. I'm just happy I can shatter pots with my sword now. Alright, let's try this again! Okay, I'm really confused. I know there is a room in this dungeon that you can completely skip just by not putting the key in. I could have sworn it was that one! It might be, but I distinctly remember having to go through that, uh, giant moving platform Beemox room, uh, multiple times throughout the dungeon. And not just because I stink. So yep, this is the second floor, almost as big as the first floor. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe it was the, uh... Maybe it's the, uh, key block that you can skip. Uh-oh, avoid those red armoses. Oh, hi, Shrouded Stalthoses. I know your names now. It's time to die. Which is ironic because they're already skeletons. Or they're just random dudes wearing skull masks. Wait, was that it? That can't be have been it. Huh? I guess that was it. Alright, I'm very confused about this dungeon layout now. Giant trampolines, gotta love them. Hmm. 
Wee. Yeah, I am definitely going the way you're supposed to be going in the dungeon. Next time I get a key, I'll put it in the key block to show off the rest of the dungeon. Ouch! I hate Mace Knights. They're hard to hit, and they're e it's easy for them to hit you. Ow! The jerk. Why is this guy taking so long to kill? Thank you. This dungeon is definitely the dungeon you'll discover the fatal flaw of the map on emulators. Oh yay, and here we get the nice dungeon item, the magical boomerang. Now we can control where the boomerang goes, and it damages enemies now. Such as red armuses, and it stuns them. It's also bigger. So we'll be using the magic boomerang a lot now, because it's actually more powerful than our sword. As hilarious as that is. Ooh, foreshadowing. The snake enemies are useful to use scent seeds on. Especially since they're so fast. Alright, so now we can go the way I was trying to go earlier. I was stopped because I couldn't use the mag- I didn't have the magic boomerang yet. Those guys can't be destroyed by anything either. So now we're actually going to show off the fact that you can control where the magic boomerang goes. Whee! Oh yeah, Gibdos are easy now. And then I took a hit from one. Brilliant. continue on for a little bit more, but I'm gonna have to end the video off fairly soon. Uh, I should have opened the key block. Now I have to take the long way around anytime I want to go to that western half of the dungeon, which is where everything is now. I dislike the 6th dungeon. In fact, I dislike the 6th dungeon in pretty much every Zelda game. I have yet to... think of a 6th dungeon that I've enjoyed. Wait. Nope, the Water Temple from Ocarina of Time is the 6th dungeon. Unless you count the Ice Cavern, which is more of a mini dungeon. Okay, now that's just jerkish enemy placement. Could use a heart drop right now. This dungeon is just long and tedious, and it's hard, I guess. Especially the boss. The mini boss is more just annoying than hard, but on a cursed playthrough, it can be fairly hard. Out of my way. All right, let's try this room again. So I'm not going to run into the spikes this time. Sensei, here snakes. Whoa, slow down. <laughs> I have never seen the game lag before. 
Nintendo's pretty good about making games that don't lag very much. Ow. Oh, shoot. I forgot about this. Oh, I forgot about that. Crud. Aw, oh, man. I can't... This is such a pain in the neck to have to walk all the way over there. Oh. Why didn't I open the key block? I didn't realize... I am getting sick of entering a room and having a snake be right there so that I can't dodge it. It's so annoying. And there's like enormous smiles are just mocking me. What? What the heck was that? What? I'm giving it one more go. What the heck happened there? I didn't push up or down. The game just forced me into the pit. What the heck? Huh. Why are the snakes being such a annoying? I swear the snakes have never been this annoying in other playthroughs. It happened again! Alright. Screw you, Crystal. The next key I get, I don't care where I am, I'm opening that freaking key block. <sighs> you know, I think that's the game telling me, Artie, you need to take a break. So, I'm gonna end the video off there. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you enjoyed that episode, because I sure didn't. I'll see you next time. Have a good day, and God bless.